Matt McCoy, country song teacher. Welcome to another He Play What Wednesday where I'll take a break from country music and do a little other stuff here. Fleetwood Mac has so many jams. I was jamming them in the gym actually this morning. I'm going to go with three fun songs to play. Let's start with a very, very easy one. I played this other night on my um, um, Instagram. And what I'm going to do is play a two chords the whole song. Uh, I'm going to keep the bottom two strings locked. It's a C at nine, I call it a C. So bottom two strings locked. Pinky, and go fourth, and fifth. Here you go. Let's see, I was off key there. Now there you, there he is. Now there you go again. You say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? I love that. So all you're doing back and forth, the C or C at nine, then the, press the third string for the D. A lot of times I'll even take my pinky finger off. Put your pinky if you're on and off. Kind of test it out. See what you think. If you're a beginner, maybe you don't do that, that picking yet. You can do down strums. Now there you go again. You say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? So I'm just doing two count. It's only fair right that you should play the way you're feeling. I'm picking the, the, the just the, I kind of use my thumb. C at nine is the bottom five, the D is the bottom four. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. So, great song for beginners. Again, if you get fancy, you could do that. Five four three two five four three two four three two one four three two one five four three two five four three two four. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. See you when they will come and they will go. When the rain washes you clean, you. So that's the first one, Dreams. Good little jam there. This one is going to use the track chords. I don't think I've taught this one before. So if you want to play a C up here, I'm going to play a regular, I mean an E. I'm going to play a regular E. Third, fifth, and fourth. You hear me calling out your name. I'm going back and forth E to B. Now the B chord is what I call one of the track chords. And by track chords, I mean you're going to take your pinky finger and ring finger and slide up and down these two middle strings of the track. So if you wanted, you could play all these chords just sliding up and down, but I'm going to show you that. So put your pinky finger on the third string, it's the fourth fret, and your ring finger on the fourth string. Remember, the top string is a six, the bottom one's one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So these, you keep your pinky finger in the third, ring finger in the fourth, you're sliding up and down that track. So for the B chord, I'm going to put on the fourth string, skip the third fret, pick my first finger on the fifth string. So the reason I call them the track chord, if you want to play the E chord down here, the seventh and ninth, you can see those little dots, the fourth and third dot. So, you hear me calling out your name. You know that I'm falling and I don't see. So, that's the four chords we're going to use E. You can play this E up here, a regular E, or, or you can play this ninth and seventh track chord, E. But the four chords we're going to use is an E. When you slide down to the sixth and fourth, is a C sharp minor. Drum all six and all these. Slide down to the fourth and second. This is your hardest chord because because the frets are bigger. You have to stretch your hand a little bit there. It's a B chord and slide to the two middle strings of the second fret. That's an A. So A, B, C sharp minor, E. So I'll play this E so that way I can keep it on the track. So the, your ring finger and pinky finger are never going to leave 
those two middle strings up. Can you hear me? Well, I'm gonna do it for the strumming pattern. Now stop, strum, stop. So back and forth, we go. Can you hear me calling out your name? You know that I'm falling and I don't know what to say. See, I did a C sharp minor than A. Speak a little louder. I see. I'll even shout. You know that I'm proud that I can get the word out. So, so B, C sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, B, and A, B. That, 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 that's a little up. Uh, I, that, that, I was just doing down strums kind of stop until you get the timing down. Then you do down ups. Ooh, I, oh, wanna be with you everywhere. Ooh, I, wanna be with you everywhere. Something's happening. Love that little jam there. That's called Everywhere. Love that song. And the last one, um, kept all that third fret. Another probably probably their biggest hit. Uh, to my love. So what I'm gonna do here, cable the third fret, play that C at nine again. If you want to play a regular C, you can top you can top in Matt McCoy C chord difference, Matt McCoy C chord. You'll see why I play this. But uh, again, if you play a regular C great, knock it out. I'm gonna play that C at nine. To my love. I'm gonna go from two down strums, then just press the fifth string, second fret, then take them fingers off for A minor seven, second and fourth. And back to that. G over B. So C, G over B, A minor 7, G over B. So it goes down. To my love and I take it down. Climb a mountain and I turn around. And I saw my reflection. Snow covered That chorus, <coughs> you repeat that again for second verse. The chorus is G. I've been afraid of changing because I'm. So I did G, then that top string for that D over F sharp, then that, then the, then the two middle strings, I mean the fifth and fourth for E minor seven. So I've been afraid of changing because I see it, see it. So, fun little chord changes. Like I said, a lot of my strong, I try to have something that kind of you lock the strings in place for your GC minor D or the track chords. This one you want to take the fingers off there, cause that. Cause that A minor, gotta go that second string if you're the Time So again, I would tell you too if you're just learning guitar, just have fun with it. First of all, but sometimes within those chords. Maybe pluck the top string and then flip the bottom of the leg. Like, for example, Hot time makes you bolder, children get older, I'm getting older too. That's one of the best ways, guys, you can get better at guitar, is learn to just mess around with it. So as long as you're playing some strings within that chord, so, um, uh, to my love and I took it down. Climbed 
the mouth and then I turn around. Some of y'all didn't know I did a regular C chord, did you? And I saw my reflection in a snow-covered hill in a landslide. All right, guys, hope it helps you guys. If you like these He Played What Wednesday songs, I've got a book called Timeless Tunes on my website, countrysongteacher.com. If you want to support the channel, that's the best way you can do it. Buy one of my songbooks or courses, that kind of thing. People ask me about donating, that kind of thing. I say, just go purchase a book or something and help you. Hopefully, I can be a blessing to you all uh, for you being a blessing to me. So go to countrysongteacher.com. All one word, countrysongteacher.com. You'll see, like I said, it's called Timeless Tunes. It has a bunch of these songs in there. So hope it's a blessing to you all. I will see you tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. And make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Let's go.